guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so so much for joining me today i'm going to be doing a how to smoky gold eyeshadow look so i kind of want to go full glam i want my eyeshadow blown out i want it extra i want everything so today we are going to do a little talk through on how to get that and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So if you want to learn how to create that smoky gold eyeshadow look with a nice red lip, then keep on watching. Okay, so first I am going to prime my face. So I tried this in another video and this is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Primer. I really liked it. I feel like it didn't leave me oily at all. I mean, I only did leave it on, I want to say for maybe five hours, but I did like it those five hours that I have worn it. I am going to do a wear test. Stay tuned. It's going to be on my blog and I'm just going to keep you guys posted on how it wears throughout the day and if it's good for oily skin because so far I'm really liking it. So I'm just placing this on my oily parts and then just bringing it back. And then next, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my eyeshadow base. So I have super oily eyelids, super oily skin. And the one thing that does work for me is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Prime Potion. Um, I have been using this for a really long time. I've had this over a year and I pretty much wear eyeshadow every day. You just need a little bit and... It lasts a really, really long time. So if you guys have watched me before, you know that I like to tape up my eyes. I have my scotch tape and I'm just going to tape up my eyes for a nice straight line. Okay, now that my eyes are set, I'm actually gonna go in with the Peach Perfect uh, setting powder and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on a blending brush and just set my eyes with it because the palette that I am going to use does not have a natural creamy shade. So I like to do this because I want my palettes to glide on very smooth. I don't want any patchiness. I want it to look as effortless as possible. So the palette that I'm going to go in with today is the Huda, Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. I have tried this palette out before and I love it. I think that it is beautiful. It literally has everything you need for that smoky eyeshadow look. I love it. It comes with a mirror and then you have nine eyeshadows. So you have the black, you have the silver, you have dark browns, a light brown. Um, this is kind of like a rose gold and that nice beautiful gold. So I am super excited to show you guys how to create a gold smoky look with this. So first we're going to dip into this shade right here and we're going to put that in our crease. I am going in with a stiffer brush and then I'm doing windshield wiper motions and then I am just circling it out just to give it a blown out effect. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is one of the lighter brown shades between these two. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and then just stamp it on the outer part of my eye where the V is. I'm mostly focusing it right there for now. I am just stamping and then kind of swiping. And I'm using the same brush. I want to be very precise with where I place this. Then when I don't have a lot left on my brush, I am just going to swipe that right where my crease is and then bring that right at the corner. Now I'm just doing windshield wiper motions and just blending. So there isn't a lot on the inner part of the eye right now. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm just going to do little circular motions and then just blend that out. All right, then I'm just going to take a little bit of that and then stamp that right here, but then bring it and then focus it mostly on the inner part of the eye. We want to create a halo effect. So we want the center of the eye to be as blank as possible right now. I'm doing it this way so we do have that nice transition. So it's not super, super dark on the inner part of the eye. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a Morphe M4 
two one and i'm going to wet it with the elf hydrating water i like using this other people use setting sprays but i just dampen it a little bit and we're going to dip into this beautiful gold shade right here and i'm going to tap some of that on goes on so nicely on the brush and i'm going to put that where it's blank on my eye so i'm just going to tap that in right now you can do a cut crease if you want and i'm just bringing that up we're going to fix it with the blending so don't worry so i did bring that up pretty high basically to where the end of my crease is and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take another basic flat brush and i'm going to dip into this middle shade right here which is a metallic brown and i am going to place that on the outer part of where the gold is and just stamp that in this is going to be a nice transition shade between the gold and the brown on the outer part of the eye i'm also going to do that on the inner part of the eye as well so it is a nice transition all right so then next i'm going to dabble a little bit into the black i want to say a little bit because this black is pretty intense so i want to go in with another small brush and i just want to lightly tap into the black and i just want to stamp that on the outer part of the eye right here then i'm going to go in with the first brush that we used and i'm just going to blend that out now i'm going to dip back into the first shade that we use that transition shade and i'm just going to lightly place that on top and just blend everything together i'm going in with a very very light hand right now next i'm going to go in with a clean blending brush and then just blend out the edges because i don't want any harsh lines i want this to blend seamlessly I'm going in windshield wiper motions and then I'm also going in circular motions. I do have to say that these shades blend very, very easily. There really are no harsh lines. It doesn't look muddy. I feel like this looks beautiful. Um, don't worry, we still have a few more steps to do, but I feel like right now it looks beautiful. It looks so good. Next, I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner. This is just the Aurora eyeliner, and I'm just going to do a thin line on my upper lash line. All right, so I usually like doing a thin line on my upper lash line before I do a wing, especially if I'm going to do the wing by myself because I'm usually not the best at doing wings. So I'm just going to take this tape off, Yes, I am going to do this tapeless. I know. I don't think I've ever done this tapeless before, but we're going to give it a shot because I found a really cool tool that I'm interested in showing you guys. This is from um, a Beauty Blender. This is a liner design. I'm only using this part. It is the, um, it kind of looks like a guitar pick. And this is supposed to help give you a line. So all you have to do is just hold it against your lash line and create that nice sharp line. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same eyeliner that I was using before. And I'm going to move in for you guys so you guys can see if this actually works. All right, so this is the flat part. I'm going to push that right up against my line. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a nice line that is pretty extra but it's fine I did get some on here but that's all right now I'm going to do it on the other side next I'm just going to finish out my wing by connecting it to my actual eye this actually may not be the best for wings I feel like I had this issue with my other liner too I'm gonna go ahead and switch out because this seems to be getting pretty patchy. So I switched it out for the liner that I got from Amazon. I feel like this actually helps get that nice straight line. All right, so if you guys have watched me before, you know I don't do liners that well, but I do have to say this wing actually came out pretty good. I really do like how this looks. Okay, so this one I'm having a little bit of difficulty with. So this one I am having a bit more difficulty with, and I feel like it is because that first 
pen that I use didn't really work well with um, making that sharp line. But we are going to keep on moving. So next I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte. Um, this is the shade M110 and I'm just going to squeeze that on the back of my hand and go in with my beauty blender and just tap that on my skin. And when you do this, just be careful because you don't want to mess up around your eyes. If any of you guys ever feel like you have trouble with eyeliner, just remember, eyeliners are like eyebrows. They're supposed to be sisters not twin. I've actually grown to really like this foundation. I used it the first time yesterday and I used it and I was like, oh, I don't know. It really doesn't look matte, but I feel like it looks so beautiful on the skin. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. This is the shade light because I like to go lighter on the eye area because I, I do have pretty dark circles so I like to go a little bit lighter and I'm just going to use a sponge and tap and blend that out next I'm gonna finish off the eye look I am going to take a flat brush and I'm gonna dip back into this palette I'm gonna go in with this dark shade the darker brown and I'm just gonna stamp that along my lower lashes I'm kind of stamping and blending. Next, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. And I'm going to dip into this first shade that we use, the transition shade. And I'm just going to blend that out. And I like to drag mine down just a little bit. We're not done with this test yet. Keep it close. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. And I'm going to put this on my waterline. I like this because it's super dark and dramatic. I also want to line my upper lash line. I really like doing that on the outer part of my eye because I feel like it really makes my eyes look a little bit small. I do have bigger eyes, so I like them being a little bit smaller. And it makes them a lot more intense, which I love. All right. So then we're going to dip back into this, this, and we are going to go in with that gold shade. And we're using a pencil brush, just dipping into it, and we're going to put that right on the inner corner of the eye to really make it pop. I'm kind of bringing it down to connect to where the black is on the waterline. So we are done with this palette, and next I'm going to set my under eyes. So I'm using the Too Faced. This is the It's Banana Setting Powder. This is in banana cream. It does smell like bananas, but it doesn't smell like obnoxiously like, like bananas. So I'm just setting my under eyes. This also helps brighten up. Like you could see, look at that compared to this eye. This definitely brightens up the under eye. And then next I'm going in with this Peach Perfect Setting Powder. And I'm just going to set my whole face now this is usually when I would do my brows but I just got my brows done I got them wax and tinted so I really don't need to do my brows but I am just going to comb them out so this is usually when I would do my brows but they're already done so I don't have to worry about that now on to bronzer so I'm gonna take the butter bronzer this is in the shade sun kissed I love this if you know me it smells beautiful and I'm just gonna bronze up my face right now I usually do have to go a tiny bit over this a lot over the same spot a lot because this is a little too light for me I am pretty tan so just bronze myself up but I don't mind going over this a lot because I am obsessed with the way that this smells so I'm like it's fine I'll bronze myself up as much as possible like look oh, I just love the way it looks and I just love the way that it smells it smells so nice and then I also like to bring this underneath my jawline because I want that nice sharp jaw all right so now that I am bronze, I want to add in some blush. 
So I'm going to go in with, I actually have not used this before. This is the Truffle Cosmetic Raspberry Riffle. And it comes with three shades. I feel like I'm going to dip in between these two shades. It is on the smaller side. So I'm just going to take my Real Techniques. Um, this is a 302 brush and I'm just going to dip in between these two shades right here. Just blush up my cheeks. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I really do like this blush. For a first impression, I think I got this in one of my Ipsy bags and I really do like this. I used to like hate blush like I never use blush but now I'm like no I like blush blush like really makes such a statement and I do like how these are matte blushes because I do I am pretty oily so I like my blushes as matte as can be but you can see like blush makes such a difference and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more but that's actually a perfect blush for this. I really do like this one, but this one it would be a little too pink for my look that I'm going for right now. Next, I'm going to do my eyelashes. I haven't done my eyelashes yet. So I'm going in with the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. And I am just putting that on my upper and lower lash line. I do put on two coats of mascara on my upper lashes. You know me. I love my Ardell Magnetic Lashes. I am going to put, these are the accents. Um, I've used them in quite a few videos and I'm just going to put that on my eyes next. Now that these lashes are on, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight my face. So I am taking the Kylie Cosmetics Salted Caramel highlighter. I really, really like this highlighter. I feel like it gives the perfect highlight. Like you can have it subtle or you can build it up. This is a nice golden highlight. I feel like the gold matches the highlight on the eye as well. You can bring that in more if you want, like I am right now. And then I'm just going to take this and put a little bit on the center of my nose. And then I'm going to put some on my cupid's bow. Now what I also want to do is take a clean brush and just highlight the brow bone with the same highlighter. I feel like this is such a beautiful highlight. And I'm just going to drag that down a bit as well. Now when you highlight the brow bone, you want to go from where the arch is down. So now I'm all highlighted and the last step is to contour and lipstick. So for contouring, I'm going to take the Tardiest Pro palette. I usually, I've only used this for this brown shade right here and for the highlighting shades. So I'm going to dip in to this brown shade and I am going in with a Real Techniques 303 brush. I'm just tapping in lightly. This palette smells like chocolate, like it is so beautiful. And I'm just going to sculpt out underneath my cheekbone and then blend that up. Like you could see, that makes a good difference. And then some people, what they like to do, just go underneath your lip very, very lightly. And you do that to create more of a pout. All right, so I am done with this palette. It was very, very quick. I do like the highlighters in this palette. I just wanted to do something with the Kylie highlighter because that holds a special place in my heart. One more step. Sorry, guys. I feel like I keep on saying that there's one more step. I'm going to go in with the... Uh, Too Faced, this is the Peach Blur. I love this. You could see I use this quite a bit. And this I like to stamp on my face. And this helps blur out any imperfections. So I like to use this on my pore area and right in the center of my face just to help blur anything out. And I do like this because it still keeps your highlight, blush, and everything in contact. You really don't need enough of this. I just use a little bit as you guys can see and I feel like my face looks different already. 
So then last step is lipstick. I am going in with the Kate Cosmetics lipstick. I wore this earlier last week and I wore this one day and then I wore the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, lip color in the shade red the next day and I compared the two to see which one I liked better and I'm going to be completely honest this one lasted a lot longer and when it faded it faded nicely like it wasn't like it wasn't like clumpy or anything that it just faded like in the waterline a little bit like a nice pretty fade compared to the Anastasia Beverly Hills I feel like that faded a bit more clumpy on me which usually never happens so I'm super surprised that it faded that like clumpy but this is definitely going to be my go-to this makeup look is actually what I'm going to be doing for the wedding a nice little smoky eye with some nice lashes wings and a nice red lip to match my whole outfit and I'm just gonna put this on my lips now now what I love about this too is I didn't have to line my lips while I was doing this and I feel like it still looks just as good it doesn't bleed my teeth look incredibly white I really like this com combination I feel like it looks very old school glam which is what I am going for and it also dries down very matte it doesn't smudge I feel like this lipstick just looks perfect I am so so happy that I collabed with her and that she gave me these products because I love them so so much this is literally my favorite red color ever I'm obsessed with this but this is the finished look I really really love like the highlight it's beautiful I feel like this is just very like old school kind of glam like glamorous red carpet kind of look and I am so excited that I'm going to wear this for the wedding I feel like it's going to match perfectly with my red dress the highlighter I'm going to put on my shoulders so it has that nice like highlighty effect my hair is going to be curly like the big curls I am so so excited to finally get everything together show you guys my makeup this test run went perfectly and i'm going to show you guys my dress too my whole complete outfit do not worry just stay tuned follow me on instagram and twitter and you guys are going to see my outfit and if you guys want i can also do a blog post on where to find what what products i use and everything in case you guys want to recreate the outfit the look anything stay tuned it's gonna be up I hope that you guys like this look as much as I like this look. I'm really, really obsessed with this look. Um, it is full face. It's glam. It's everything that you want in like a night wedding kind of fall look. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Please also comment. Let me know if you guys want to see a blog post. If you guys want more details. If you guys want to see another look like this. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. And do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified anytime I post a video. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.